talking to um, a younger musician who's starting out with maybe an unusual instrument, what are some, what's some advice that you give to them as far as like trying to make something work for themselves? Um, don't buy into the cliches. Yeah. Don't buy into um, what what people tell you that your instrument is supposed to be. It's it's a trend that I see more and more, which makes me very happy. But um, you can play anything on your instrument if you're good. If people get good physically and technically on their instrument, they can play any style of music. And just because it hasn't been done before is not a good reason not to try it. Um, the cellist that I work with and myself have these long conversations about this because she had the same issue. I mean, she came from a purely classical background and the cello has a specific function. Even, even if you're in a situation where it's more pop, you just play these long, lush, pleasing notes that that's not what you went to school for that's not what moves you I mean use your ears my my best advice for any young musician is use your ears and your heart just listen to what sounds good and what you like to do and it's most likely doable on whatever instrument you're playing see that there's any sort of a difference in the way people are learning music now or the way they appreciate it or I don't know is there any observations you have on that young younger musicians well most of the clinics that I've done um, have been specifically working with percussionists people who have um, to some extent dedicated um, their mm -hmm. their studying to percussion instruments and for me the, the best part about it is that I can come in and show them what I am doing which is slightly different than what they've seen um, for the most part but, but both because of the midi marimba being what it is and the style that I play um, it's good to see that a lot of kids are not so locked into the radio which I was a little um, concerned at first it's really nice to see how how much interest they have in stuff that's not on the radio and they seek it and they copy CDs which Frankly, in this context, I'm perfectly okay with because at that age, they need exposure more than they need um, anything else. And we've given away so many Flutter Effect CDs just because it's when you're a young band, when you're starting, it's a lot more important to have the exposure than to worry about every penny that you may or may not be making. <laughs> as far as like looking for quality gear and like trying to figure out how you can afford what you need? I think it's important to find the, the thing that um, would work for you. If anyone can find, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people buy gear because um, they feel like they have to or because somebody told them that this is a cool thing to have. And that's a valid way to go around it, I guess. But um, I think it's more important to find the one thing that really works for you and that would um, fit the picture of what you're trying to achieve and then get that. Because it can be overwhelming both price-wise and just the amount of time that all these gadgets need in order to, um, to learn how to work with them. But there's, there's enough opportunity to explore what's out there and find the, the right thing.